We are in Manitou Springs, Great Unconformity, in Colorado. Why is this so special? The Great Unconformity represents Precambrian rock overlain by younger sedimentary rocks, and literally there's over a billion years of time missing between them. You've got it, over a billion. The granite here is literally between 1.2 and 3.0 billion years old. On top of it is sedimentary rock. Yes, I know it's been uplifted and it's tilted, typically a non-conformity will have flat sedimentary rocks on top and it did but they got tilted in an uplift event so wow this is a big deal <laughs> to talk about unconformities let's look at how we denote them in geology on block diagrams it can either be done with a red line or more typically with a wavy line which indicates that's the spot where missing rock used to exist or was never deposited. So in this case I used a red line. So you have to imagine that our great unconformity here in Manatee Springs has been and was a monster mountain like the Andes in South America or the Himalayas and what we've got left is what's eroded down. You're looking at a huge amount of time for that to occur, and that's why there's this big gap of time in between the two rock layers. Important to denote that once the igneous rock was worn down, sedimentary rock was deposited on top, which was made by a beach sand as ocean waters began to transgress or invade, get onto the continent. And that left behind what we know as the sandstone unit right above the Great Unconformity. This is not the only place that we find the Great Unconformity. Probably even more famous would be what's at the bottom of the Grand Canyon. But this is still the same age material, same basic uh, rock formation, all of it. So the Great Unconformity is the largest gap in the rock record known to humans at this time. Thinking about that, I just want you to understand it's a bucket list item of most geologists to see the great unconformity.